In part one, I made the monocoque sections for the frame. This time, I'll curve the round tubes for the frame and make the fixture which holds all the components in the proper orientation. This is a simple tube rolling machine. I'll show you how it works. We'll test this with the radius gauge, and it looks like it's just about perfect. So we'll take this out. So that's how you curve tubing. To build the frame, I need to accurately position the head tube the bottom bracket, the seat post, the swing arm pivot, and the housing for the rear shock. All of these components will be mounted to a frame jig. Here I'm making sleeves for the components, allowing them to be positioned by a center bolt. The sleeves are made with a snug fit to ensure accurate centering on the fixture. The head tube is located by angle brackets, which keep it on center with the other components. The housing for the rear shock is supported by angle brackets too. And this is the bracket for the seat tube. All of these components need to be positioned on a fixture. I made the fixture from two pieces of 3 quarter inch MDF. I place sheet steel on the top surface to protect it from denting and from the heat of welding. All of the frame dimensions are referenced from two lines at right angles to each other. I'm laying out these lines parallel to the top and left sides of my fixture. I'm using a marking pen to make the scribed lines easier to see. Next, I'll lay out the position and angle of the rear shock. Measuring from the reference lines, I'll locate the centers for the swing arm pivot and the bottom bracket. For this prototype, I need to position all components within 1 32nd inch, or slightly better than 1 millimeter, and to hold all angles within half a degree. A simple, inexpensive fixture like this can easily attain those tolerances but it's not designed for production or to allow adjustability. To see a good example of a heavy-duty adjustable frame jig, check out the Pithy Bikes YouTube channel. Last, I'll lay out the position and angle of the head tube. I need to make center lines on each of the angle brackets so I can accurately position them on the fixture. Next, the angle brackets are clamped into place. Then, a transfer punch is used to mark the center of the bolt holes in the angle brackets and the mark is center punched. Next, each of the hole locations is accurately centered and a pilot hole is drilled, followed by a hole for a quarter inch bolt.
I use threaded inserts on the back side of the fixture to eliminate the need for nuts. I used a spade bit to make a small counter bore so the inserts would fit flush. Then the inserts were tapped into place. With all the holes drilled, the components were reassembled on the fixture to make sure everything was properly aligned. Everything looks great, so now the ink from the marker pen can be cleaned off and all the components can be assembled. So here's the fixture with all the components properly positioned. In the next video, I'll fit the monocoque sections and tubes to the frame components and weld the frame together.